And we back like bra straps. It's Vach Lombardi here to take a look at Yadni Kajust. I'm going to call him Juiced. Um, West Virginia. Uh, left tackle. The big kid right here, 55. I always thought 50 numbers on the offensive line was weird. Uh, but he going to run it. So let's get into it. Um, big old cat. <laughs> big old cat, 6'5". He's probably... 300 and mad pounds, uh, combine measurable nerves. Y'all hit me in the chat box. Let me know. Um, length and all that. And I think he wins with his length. If, if y'all look back uh, at a guy like Orlando Brown, uh, the, um, uh, Oklahoma kid, right? He, he had terrible feet, but he won with length. I'm not saying that, that Yanni has that level of bad feet because, Man, Orlando has some bad feet. But Yandy, I wouldn't say bad, but he does have heavy feet. He doesn't necessarily get in the position he wants to be all the time. But he can win by getting those arms on him, right? Now, I'm not a big fan of him leaning forward like this, but it increases to his arm length. Look, look at this, man. Look like Michael Jordan dunking at the end of Space Jam, man. He's got some pretty good length to him, and, uh, and he can win with that, right? But if you look at his feet, I just zoom back in and look at his feet, man. It look a bit cumbersome, man. Like like uh like they got weights on him. Like he's galloping almost. You know what I mean? They're not as as slick as some of these other guys that that we've been watching. And 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 that's fine. That's fine. This is Yadney's bag we're looking at right now. Um, pretty solid punch. I ain't mad at it. Kind of want those elbows to be a little tighter, but that's just me uh looking into the nuance of it. But uh let's uh let's keep watching. I got a lot to say. But I will say he's a big, strong, angry fella. You gonna eat your cornbread looking ass, right? Hashtag you gonna eat your cornbread. Chat box, help me out. Um, he can't get movement in the run game. And this is the bad part, right? Like, I hate West Virginia's offense because they do that Big 12 stuff where they throw a lot of bubbles and they just throw the ball in general. And it's hard to find footage of Yadni Kajus run blocking. But Vach is the boy. I got you here. Um, and and the the few the few clips I've seen of him of him run blocking, he's solid at it, right? Um, he does do that little lunge thing, this thing right there. He just kind of ducks his head in there, and, and you know, some of these good defenders are going to be able to nullify that. They're gonna you know uh, grab your jersey, pull you down. You know, they're gonna uh, jet swim over the top. You know, and that could be a problem. So I want y'all need to be a little more a little more patient and shoot his hands a little better, but. Once he gets those hands on you, he does turn into a mean, angry dude that can move you, and that's positive. Uh, let's keep looking. Let's keep watching. Just another example. Um, I think sometimes his feet can put him in bad positions, right? Like, uh, let's just run a play first, and then we'll take a look at him, right? You know, his head's on the wrong spot. You know, uh, the end was able to kind of get over on him, right? If if Yadney's going to be taking this, um, this type of block, I want Yadney's head on the opposite side. I want him to kind of work this in from inside out because if he works it from outside in, then 51 has the inside. We don't want 51 to have the inside because things like this happen, right? If anything, we want to work 51 more, more towards B gap and let the running back decide from there. So, but, I, but I do feel like if Yadney's feet were a little quicker, if they were a little lighter, um, then he would be in prime position to move guys around. Now the combine's right around the corner, and we're gonna see how these, uh, how these, how, you know, how these guys move. Now Rodney's three hundred and mad pounds, right? So maybe if he lost a little weight, maybe his feet would be a little quicker. You know, I know his weight kind of went up and down throughout the season, and there are some clips of Yadney moving around pretty well. I'll let the football scientists figure that out. But he does have big, big cumbersome feet. And maybe if he if he's gonna play tackle, um, you know, he'll maybe he he should probably lose ten or so pounds, ten or fifteen or so pounds, uh, gain some muscle and get those feet active, you know. Um not terrible moving backwards here. You know what I'm saying? He, as as long as it's, you know, short choppy steps seems to be his bag, right? As long as he could take short choppy steps and lunge and, and use length to hit people, he's fine. He seems to be good at that, and he's really going at it with this dude. But when he really has to open up, kick, and get some depth and move, that seems to be the problem there. Uh, let's keep watching them. Pretty good first step right here, but man, look at the energy being exerted right here. Boy, look look at that first step. Look at that gallop of a first step. And I ain't mad at it. I mean, do what you gotta do to, you know, um uh find your ground and cover it. Um punch is solid, good extension, keeps his hands in there, you know, keeps his feet moving. I'm not mad at that. I'm just worried about if Yadney gotta go against one of these gangsters, what's gonna happen to him. That's my only that's my only concern there. 
It's a combine drill right here. You know, when we get up in the combine, do the little mirror drill, one guy is the rabbit, and the offensive line is basically uh, basically moving. This is kind of why we run it, right? Yanni's going to get uh, get some get some movement there, solid movement. Feet still look heavy. Like, if he was walking in the house with a hollow floor, he'd be, boy, he'd be upsetting the neighbors. <laughs> boy, but if you take a look at 44 here, kind of take a look at what he does to kind of, to kind of stop Yadney's feet here. Let's focus on 44 and let's move it slow. 44 is going to go to the outside, 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 and Yadney's committed to it. But watch 40 cut back inside, then back outside, right? 44 stopping and, and cutting inside, it stops Yadney's feet. And then when, when his feet stop, 44 can get back outside because Yadney's not the nimblest of the guys on this list. So let's take a look at him full speed. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Inside, stop your feet, back outside. You see what I mean? And it works there. Now, in West Virginia, boy, the ball's going quick, and 91 just smacked the hell out of Will Greer. That's fine. Um, but, you know, like if it was a five-step drop, you know, my man's might have been in trouble there. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, we'll see, man. We'll see. I think there there's something towards the the lose some weight theory. You know, I think that might be a thing because he does he does look like a heavy character here. And um I think tackles nowadays are, you know, they're 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 more lean bodyguard action figure looking guys. I don't know. We'll see. Uh some guys can get it done. Cody Ford can be three hundred and thousand pounds and still move well. Everybody ain't special in that way. Not even not even to name drop Cody Ford, but uh, we'll see. YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing on my Patreon. Just one dollar a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M and M's, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's Patreon.com slash Vach Lombardi. I appreciate the support, Doski Woski. Salute. But Yadney seems to be one of those, if I got my hands on you, good luck to you. <laughs> good luck. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Can you read what's on this card? <laughs> good luck. <laughs> good luck to you, my guy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you, you you know, once he once he, once he he gets hands on you, you're probably going to have to give up the cornbread and, you know. <laughs> you just kind of got punked, my guy. But he's a big, mean, strong dude, man. Uh, I would like to uh, see a little more film on him. So, like I said, you know, y'all y'all definitely, you know, watch film on your own here. And I, of course, got a lot more work to do. But this is just a preliminary idea about what I think about him. I think I'm pretty right so far. Um, but we'll keep watching. I mean, like, take a look at him moving right here. But then when he gets his hands on this on this DB, the DB is just kind of going to go go for a ride there. Um, I play football with a guy, man, a cat named Bowlegs. And we called him Bowlegs because he was Bowleg. He was Bowlegged. But Mel Bowlegs kind of ran like this. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, and he kind of runs like he's Bowlegged. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> you know you know how, how like some of these guys move? I'd be like, boy, yeah, they move. He'd be like, oh, boy. I'm just going to let this play, man. I, I ain't got nothing else to say about you And I think I pretty much covered the big stuff. Uh, it was hard to watch film on these guys, man, um, just based on the offense, man, the the type of stuff that they did and the uh, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. But I did the work, man. Salute to y'all. I did it for y'all. Uh, this video wasn't terribly long. I just kind of wanted to jump in and give my thoughts about it. Let me just say this before people think I'm hating on y'all and Kajus. Um I think he can be a, a solid player. I, you know, just lose a little weight. You know, lose a little weight and his feet will be a little more active. But uh, as long as he's able to use length and get hands on people, he'll be fine. I'm not necessarily trying to move him to guard because uh, I got to see like I got to see his combine. I got to see how he moves. I gotta I gotta really look at his at his cone drills and how he pulls and all this type of stuff. So combine is important for the big children, especially the offensive line. I want to see. Um, I want to see how he uh, moves around there, but um, I'm I'm cool with Yanni Kajus. I don't have a problem with Yanni, with uh, Yanni. I mean, you know, where would I rank him? Psh, good luck getting that answer out of me. I'll tell you later. Um, but I think he's a uh, he's a powerful dude. I mean, good luck running down the middle of him. His feet are good enough to get him where he wants to go, and his arm length kind of helps him overcompensate. His arm length helps him compensate for the lack of of movement that he's getting. That's fine. I just want him on the next level because he's going to be playing against some gangsters on the next level to really get those feet to a uh, to a point to where um, he can get in better position. Then he can use his arm length. Then he can use his strength and. Um, 
then he'll be a much more uh, complete offensive lineman in that way. But we'll cross that road whenever we get there. Hey, man, y'all like the video? Hit the subscribe button. Trying to drop a video per day. Good for your soul to keep the doctor out your life. And, um, hey, man, follow me on Twitter and all that. And join my Discord. That link is in the description. Join all those links, man. Y'all hold it down for the Doski Woski. Till next time. Salute.